Hello, my name is Lark Lovejoy, and I am a recent C. diff survivor. And I wanted to make this video um, to give people hope because it's a completely horrendous condition. <clears throat> and uh, I want to tell you my story and what has helped me. So I have a little timeline here. So basically, um, I got C. diff from taking clindamycin and I had um, a tooth removed and a bone graft done in my jaw and I was pre prescribed a week of clindamycin um, last year, uh, March 2018. And then this year in January of 2019, I had a um, gum grafting surgery for bone recession and I was prescribed another week of clindamycin. So I'm just gonna use some notes here. Um, here's just a quote. Um, clindamycin's disadvantages are its high cost the common occurrence of rash, and the predisposition of patients taking clindamycin to Clostridium difficile, or C. diff, associated colitis. So Clostridium difficile causes colitis. Based on cohort studies, the risk of severe diarrhea in outpatients is as low as one in a thousand people, but for inpatient people, um, it can be as high as 30%. So was I one in 1,000? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, that's from an NIH study um, called uh, Current Indications for the Use of Clindamycin, a Critical Review. So um, two weeks ago, um, let's see, it was two weeks after the gum surgery is when I started to have, and a week after I finished clindamycin is when I started to have fever and diarrhea. Um, I continued to have diarrhea into Sunday and Sunday night I decided I was gonna take an Imodium so that I could sleep through the night. But that was a bad decision um, or maybe a good decision because it caused me to get diagnosed, but basically it sent me to the emergency room with horrendous um, abdominal pain to the point where I was moaning in agony. They did a stool sample and a CT scan and they diagnosed me with um, Clostridium difficile and colitis. Um, they prescribed Flagyl. Now, for some reason, the medical profession prescribes flagell as the first defense against C. diff, but it has not been shown to be effective from what I've read. Really, vancomycin should be prescribed first. The only reason it's not is usually because it's a high cost, but with my insurance, it was only $10. So, um, Anyway, eventually I did switch to vancomycin, but I started off with flagell, which was a complete nightmare. Um, so it created really horrible acid reflux. Um, it was like a volcano went off in my stomach and like hit my nose, burning everywhere. I couldn't lay down flat um burning 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 couldn't eat i dropped 10 pounds um flagell is terrible um extreme body aches my body hurt everywhere just oh i was having 103 degree fevers higher than 103 degree fevers really just complete nightmare um all I could eat was bone broth for days. Um, I had nausea, sleeplessness, you know, couldn't lay flat, mental fog. Um, I was also um, having influenza A and I didn't know it at the time. So I also had caught influenza A from my husband who had it at the time. Um, really horrible gas pains, um, you know, diarrhea, loose stool, 
anxiety and panic. Um, I even got thrush on my tongue. I'm not sure how that's doing now. I'll have to take a look at my tongue. So um, on January 25th, um, I work with a functional medicine doctor and she suggested that I start taking um, black cumin seed oil, which is a antibacterial, antimicrobial, I believe. So um, let's see, I got this stuff, which is the Life Extension uh, Black Cumin Seed Oil, and I am continuing to take that now. Um, let's see, a week ago, this past Saturday, I switched from flagell to vancomycin. There was a major reduction in um, acid reflux that just went away. Um, nausea went away. My fevers dropped to 102 instead of 103. Um, and I went to urgent care that Saturday to get switched over to vancomycin and, and see if I had the flu, which I did. During that time, I found these Orgain shakes. Um, they're nutritional shakes. It's O-R-G-A-I-N, Orgain. They're organic and they're for people who are having a medical condition where you've lost weight and you're trying to, you know, maintain nutrition. So I do highly suggest those. They have them on Amazon. So they're Orgain nutritional shakes. Um, let's see. I got a book in the mail. Um, this book here. Dr. Peter Osborne, No Grain, No Pain. And um, I have um, started a grain-free diet. I've been able to eat now. Um, I'm eating meat and vegetables and root vegetables. I'm just trying to take it really slow. Um, I also started Myrrh, which um, my doctor... Um, who's actually a nurse practitioner, um, a functional medicine nurse practitioner. She suggested myrrh as, um, in addition to the black seed oil, as an antimicrobial, antibacterial. Now, I at first got the alcohol tincture. Bad news when I was having the um, acid reflux. Ooh, terrible to have alcohol in there. So I switched to this stuff, which is um, glycerin. So... This I'm taking three times a day, I believe, two or three times a day with the black seed oil, and it tastes good. And um, anyway, I feel like that's helping to prevent a recurrence because that's another big thing. So I'll talk about that also. Um, okay. Oh, and then the, oh, I also started glutamine powder. Um, so here's this. L-glutamine powder. This is really good for colitis and just healing the um, the gut, the intestinal tissues. So I'm taking that powder three times a day in water, like half a teaspoon. Um, the big thing, though, is that I started the Saccharomyces boulardii on um, this past Thursday. Basically, from what I've read and seen, this is the major key to preventing and treating C. diff. Um, it's a type of a yeast. Um, it's almost like a pre-probiotic. It like goes in there and like lays the groundwork for the probiotics. And it also, I mean, I might be getting it wrong, but this is just from what I've gleaned, is that... Um, it's just really good at fighting the C. diff and making sure it doesn't turn into an overgrowth because that's what C. diff is. Basically with the clindamycin that wiped out all the bad bacteria and the friendly bacteria and it made an environment where C. diff could have an overgrowth. So um, the main thing in this whole recovery is rebuilding your microbiota or your microbiome so that you have the friendly bacteria. And the Saccharomyces boulardii is the most important factor in that because it fights, 
and prevents the C. diff from, from overgrowth. So um, I had had an allergic reaction to Floristore. So I switched to um, Claire Labs, Saccharomyces boulardii, and that's on Amazon as well. And I started out with one cap per day a couple days ago. Yesterday I had two caps per day. Today I'll have three caps per day. And it's making um, such a huge difference. I, I feel almost normal. I mean, um, well, the other thing that's worked for me too is that yesterday, Friday, um, February 1st of 2019, I um, took another C. diff test and it said not detected. So I no longer had C. diff. And I stopped the vancomycin before the completion of it. You know, my family nurse practitioner was saying, you know, you don't want to be taking an antibiotic because antibiotics cause this condition, right? So I was a little afraid to stop the antibiotic, but I, once I got the test result that said no more C. diff, I just stopped. And then, um... You know, and I was even having loose stool as of yesterday. But the thing is, vancomycin has its own side effects, including indigestion and maybe even diarrhea. So like today, after I had missed, you know, several doses of the antibiotic because I had stopped, I woke up feeling like practically normal today and like able to eat, you know, these very simple foods, but whole foods um, and I've started having some formed, um, bowel movements. So, um, so I guess, you know, the biggest thing to me is my takeaway from this whole thing is to avoid antibiotics like the plague. I, if it's possible for me to never have to take them again, that's what I hope for. And also to make sure that my microbiome is always really healthy so I'm going to be taking the Saccharomyces boulardii for a long time, probably. Oh, I'm also taking a, a probiotic that has multiple strains of probiotics from Claire Labs as well. I forget the name of it. They're in the refrigerator. But I'm taking that once a day right now um, in the Saccharomyces three times a day. So... So yeah, the big takeaway for me is is stay away from the antibiotics, keep the gut flora healthy, and oh, recurrence. So a lot of a lot of well, some people um, basically they they're diagnosed with C diff, they're prescribed antibiotics for it, they finish their course of antibiotics and don't do anything, and then they get C diff again because antibiotics cause C. diff, and if there's no healthy microbiota or microbiome, then it's just going to come back. So um, so basically, that's what we have to do ongoing, is to make sure that there's that friendly bacteria in there. And um, there are stool tests that can be done to test for the, the microbiota flora to see where it's at and see if it's healthy. So I'm going to have that done in a um, couple weeks to see how I'm doing with all of that. Um, and some of these folks who, you know, maybe don't have the education around um, replenishing the friendly bacteria with the microbiota and all of that, um, they end up having to get fecal transplants because they get um, C. diff over and over and over. And then they get a fecal transplant and it cures them because basically replaces their microbiota with a healthy one. But um, I don't see that being needed for me because I plan to only have this one case of C. diff. So anyway, I hope that this video has been really helpful for you. Um, you can feel free to ask me some questions. I don't do YouTube a lot, so I'm not quite sure how to get the questions if that's going to come in my email or what. So, you know, I'll, but I'll check back on this video to see if anybody's commented and um, try and answer whatever questions I can. So anyway, don't lose hope.
you can get through this and um, hang in there. Try and find a functional medicine provider. They're the best for this kind of thing. Um, take your probiotics and your Saccharomyces boulardii. And I hope that you are well very soon. Take care.